Hey, 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 what's going on, Knuckles family? What's going on, Eagles Nation? It's your guy, R.R. Knuckles, coming at you with the Eagles and Saints preview, and I am just destroyed right now, man. I'm just, like, beat the hell up. Pause. Um, I'm just, like, exhausted today, man. I mean, it's Friday, man. Uh, happy Friday. It's Freaky Friday! It's Freaky Friday, but yeah, we're just going to do a um, preview video of, you know, Eagles and Saints coming up on Sunday with, you know... Jalen Hurts getting his first his, his first official NFL start against the Saints, against the number one defense in the league right now. Yeah, that's uh, uh that's very tough for him. But here's what we got to do: um, run the ball. As far as it's like with that bad offensive line, we cannot have this kid drop in the pocket with this bad offensive line against you know a very very. You know, I think this pass was very underrated. I mean, you got Cam Jordan over there. That's the only guy I really know, <laughs> fully know. But, yeah, um, that's a very good um, pass rush right there. So, uh, we got to run the ball. And when, run the ball, I mean, run the ball more than 20 times. Because, well, at least for Miles Sanders. Because he has it with, then again, with Jordan Howard. I'm pretty sure he's going to split carries. I mean, you do have a nice triple head running back there. And, um, and Sanders... Howard and Scott. So I mean, even if okay, so even if one of them doesn't get twenty carries, at least have a lot, at least run the ball like <laughs> at least more than twenty times with all of them. Come on, because Niall Sanders has uh, he's carried the ball twenty times. He hasn't carried, carried the ball more than that. No one's carried the ball more than twenty carries this season as, as as a running back. So it's pretty embarrassing if you ask me. But yeah, we gotta get the running game going. Um, definitely do some rollouts, you know, because like I said. The offensive line is terrible. I don't want to. Um, I don't want this kid staying in the pocket, and then you know, next thing you know, like his arm gets ripped off or something by Cam Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Because this is like a very good pass rush. Um, now what else? For all, I mean, don't get any turnovers, but I expect some turnovers from Hurts. I mean, he doesn't know. It's just like his first game, and he doesn't know what's going on, so, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's gonna be tough for the kid, it, it really, really is, oh, man, <laughs> the defense, the defense, I mean, I'm pretty sure Taysom Hill's still playing, now, Darius Slay has a, has a huge target, has a huge, um, assignment carrying, my, um, cover Michael Thomas, and then on the other side, is Manny Sanders even playing? I'm not even sure what it, what, what's going on with him, I think he's still playing, we got Emmanuel Sanders out there. Um, he ain't no slouch. You ain't gonna have Avanti Max cover him. At least he's got. At least he's got speed. That's all I can really say. Um, got Alvin Kamara right there. Now, if we can somehow shut Alvin Kamara down, we should. We should be able to have a better a better chance because Taysen Hill. I just don't. I mean, yeah, he's a good quarterback backup. I mean. Throw a great throw over the football, eh. and we have him throw the ball more than run the ball. <laughs> um, we should be probably good. I'm um, definitely you know watch for a quarterback, read a quarterback sneaks. I'm pretty sure you know there's gonna be some plays where your team is gonna be running the ball. Like he's gonna be running the ball, so watch out for that. Discipline, yo, discipline because for all we know, this defense is not very well disciplined sometimes. So, um, yeah, please be very disciplined against facing this team. That's all I can really say. Um, it's like it's it's not much to say because you know we have a backup quarterback in, and you know and here's the thing, if Doug Peterson actually plays smarter, like shout out to uh, Lord Brunson and you know the, the guys he got on and on his uh, YouTube last night he got Philly 500, he got Gate City Sports, he got Philly Fresh, got uh, Philly Philly um, Philly Mike podcast, got those guys all together to talk about you know the uh, situation with the Eagles right now. And Laura Brunson, <laughs> excuse me, and Philly Fresh, you know, I'm pretty sure everything else agrees with me, too, agrees with them too. Is that, and I said this before in my last video, if you see, if we see Doug Peterson actually coach smarter, run the ball, run it, uh, roll, roll, run, um, rolling out the pocket, play action, kick field goals, don't go for always on two, you know what I'm saying? Um, punt the balls in like at smart situations, not necessarily go for it on fourth down. If he does that, we can't even trust this dude because it just showed that he never cared for Wentz. He always would care for Jalen Hurts. Like, him and, like, and Howie, and, and Howie, too. They didn't care. 
they definitely set this guy up to fail if that if that's the case. So, I mean, now I don't know if the locker room is divided right now. I think it is because you know Pierce has sent the wrong message because I'm not, I'm not saying I don't think Kelsey is saying you no. Know, he's the, trying to divide, but you know he's saying yo. It's not one guy. It's all of us. That's not playing well. All of us, we haven't been, we haven't been doing shit. We haven't been doing shit all year. So the fact that he's taking the he's taking the heat for it is completely unnecessary. And shout out to Jason Kidd. He's like you know he's always a team guy. I remember even when that report of you know some last year whoever I don't know if it's true or not, but I think it, somebody had to say something say something. To, um, Jocelyn Anderson saying hey you know once it's not the guy blah 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 and you know him Jason Peters not just me him Lane Johnson. I think Chris Thaw might have said something too. <clears throat> well, I mean, I don't know because this is the same guy that had a Nick Shrine, so I don't know about that. But um, yeah, um, they came to the Winston's defense. So you know, shout out to you know um, P, uh, Kelsey doing that. Shout out to um, shout out to Fletcher Cox. You know, that's my best friend. I still stand by that. So you know, so I mean, yeah, man. This, like I said, I just. Like I said, these next games, man, are going to choose who, who really wants to be here. Because now, like I said, you have um, guys that left the organization talk bad about the organization. I don't, they're, not, they're not talking bad about the city. They're not talking bad about their teammates. They're really talking bad about Howie Roseman. Malcolm Jenkins was talking about it. Will Parks, he was saying it's, it's 2020, not 2017. And he hate to say this. He hate to say this. But um, remember what... Uh, what Orlando Skandrick said, um, you can get Wentz out of here, you can get Doug out of here, but you'll still have the same snake, Harry Roseman. So, you, everything, everything's falling into place right now. And if you're Jeffrey Lurie, you're like, mm, okay, what the hell's going on right here? Like, you don't, you never want to have a player leave and talk bad about, bad about the organization. You, I mean, you, you'll get that once in a blue bit, but like, they have like everybody coming at you right now it uh it's saying a lot about you howie it's saying a lot about you so uh yeah um, it's just a quick video today um i don't really know what else to say i mean it's gonna be a a very uh it could be a, a uh it's exciting to see a new quarterback play but man yo i ain't gonna front i expect this to be a body bag for us right now <laughs> Now, the defense can compete, but they won't be able to compete for the whole entire game, though. They, they, they just won't. It's going to be very, it's, it's going to be very time-consuming, and they're going to they're gonna get tired, so. It's going to be tough, y'all. It's going to be tough. So, um, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, later tonight, I'll be doing my podcast talking about the Video Game Awards. And tomorrow night will be part two of the Knuckles Family and Friends um, Mario Kart 8 online races, so. It's going to be very exciting. Man, I am tired as hell, guys. I'm sorry. My energy is very, very, like, shot right now. I'm like, uh, God, I don't know. But, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, catch you guys later. Peace.